We will make America great again. Thank you very much. With election night in America just three days Thank away, President much. Donald Trump continues a feverish push to bring the faithful to the polls. The president fired up support for Republican candidates in Montana and Florida today in the final sprint to Tuesday's midterm elections. But as Trump campaigns, his former lawyer Michael Cohen is out with a warning to voters. In a new interview with Vanity Fair, Michael Cohen unloading on the president, saying in his years working for Trump, he heard Trump use very racist language. That includes one time in 2016 where Cohen alleges Trump said after a political rally, quote, black people are too stupid to vote for me. Now, Cohen says his motivation for sharing these details now is because he believes voters should know Trump's true character. It is clear that he has such disdain for, for people of color. Number one issue certainly is uh, Donald Trump. African American voters uh, in our polling, but also in polling by other uh, companies, uh, really don't like Donald Trump. Uh, the emotion that uh, Donald Trump uh, generates, the two big emotions, are anger uh, on, on the one hand and disrespect on the other. Democrats uh, certainly are going to always get the majority of the black vote, uh, but that's not enough. Uh, it's not a question of what percentage of the black vote they get. It's what, uh, what percentage of the black vote turns out to vote. Democrats, for their part, have former President Barack Obama on the campaign trail, who yesterday warned Americans against the politics of fear and division. In the closing weeks of this election, we have seen repeated attempts to divide us with rhetoric designed to make us angry and make us fearful. It's designed to exploit our history of racial and ethnic and religious division. <laughs> Trump, though not on the ballot, has been clear in his message to supporters. This election is about his presidency. Rally after rally, Trump has energized his base by urging them to view next week as a referendum on his first two years in office. At a political rally yesterday, Trump said the success of his legislative agenda over the next two years hinges on them coming out to vote. This election will decide whether we build on the extraordinary prosperity that we've unleashed. Nobody can believe what's happened. Or whether we let the radical Democrats take control of Congress and take a giant wrecking ball to our economy and to our future.